Hey, what's up guys? This is NR Cremation, and in this video I'm going to quickly explain how to solo the Abyss by sorting across it. You can do this on any character, but it's much easier to do it on a Titan because of Twilight Garrison. Alright, so there's three things you need to do with your build. Uh, you want to put Scabbard on your sword. Use heavy ammo on your Twilight Garrison. And equip a Memory of Radgast. A lot of people get confused with the Memory of Radgast. Uh, they wonder why they're not getting 102 ammo. You need to be wielding your sword when you go and pop a heavy ammo synth. If you don't have it pulled out when you pop your synth, you're only going to get 82 or so. So when you fall down, you need to be looking at a certain spot of the map. That way you're facing the right direction. If you notice, there's those lines on the wall, and that one reaches all the way to the top of the ridge. You're going to look to the one directly to the left of it, and you're going to aim a little bit to the right of that one. So one to the left, or the one that goes all the way to the top of the ridge. So you're going to wait until you see Respawning Restricted show up, and at that point you need to hold forward on your left analog stick and twilight forward. If you don't hold forward, you're going to twilight backwards. So here's the tricky part. The sword combo you're going to do is R1, R2, or... RBRT for Xbox players. And you're going to do five to eight sets forward of that combo. After that, you're going to continue doing it, but you're going to start turning your camera to your right a little bit. If you notice right there, it's really hard to see, but I'm slowly turning it to the right. And, I, and now I can see the landing zone. What I did there was I just went around a death barrier. If I immediately started going to the right there, I would have died. I would have hit an invisible wall and died. So just make sure you go directly straight forward for about five to eight combos and then start turning it slowly. If you take the correct path, you can make it all the way up to the bridge there. I was just a little bit short. Make a way up to the lamp so you can lose some weight of darkness. So since you're by yourself up here, the only thing you're going to have to deal with is just one ogre. Should be easy enough to kill with a sniper rifle. I know you can just use a scout rifle as well. Now this would be the same exact scenario if there were six people in your party. As long as you're the only person by the bridge, the only thing you have to deal with is that ogre right there. I got a lucky nade. So the hardest part of this glitch is just sorting across it, uh, knowing how to twilight forward at the right time and do enough sword combos straight forward so that you make it around a death barrier. Um, if you're too slow on a sword combo, you'll start falling down and fail. And if you start turning too early, you'll hit the death barrier. This thrall just didn't want to die. But it's definitely gonna take a lot of practice to be able to get this on a consistent basis. So just, um, you know, load up the mission. Make sure you have your sword equipped when you pop that heavy synth. And if you fail, make sure you restart the mission when you're in orbit. Otherwise, you'll be spawning into the abyss and have to relaunch it anyways. Please don't pay any attention to my loadout here. I just started playing on PS4 and finally got to 400 and got some decent weapons about a week ago. But um, I'll be playing on Xbox, PS4 and PC for Destiny 2. So if you found this guide helpful, please drop a like, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys around for Destiny 2. Alright, have a good day, guys.